Hi, welcome to the unit of mixing. I, Dr. Anup Narayanan, will introduce you the process of mixing, its objectives, applications, and factors that affect mixing in this video. Mixing is defined as a process that tends to result in a randomization of dissimilar particles within a system. The term mix means to put together in one mass or assemblages with more or less thorough diffusion of the constituent elements among one another. Blending means to mix smoothly and inseparably. Hence, in mixing, a thorough distribution of dissimilar or different types of particles happens within a system. If the mixing is very smooth and inseparable, we often call them as blends or the process is known as blending. Mixing can also be termed as spatulation, tumbling, trituration, and geometric dilution. These various terminologies are used in the industry at different contexts. The characteristics of particles such as size, shape, volume, surface area, density, porosity, flow, and particle charge contribute to solid mixing. Depending upon the flow properties, solids are divided into two classes, cohesive and non-cohesive materials. Let us see the objectives of mixing. Based on the formulation what we prepare, there shall be several purposes for a mixing operation to be included in the process. Attainment of a complete and mutual distribution of constituent materials is one of the major objectives of mixing. Increasing the contact surface, thus promoting chemical and physical reactions can be another objective. Mixing is also used to initiate or to enhance the physical or chemical reactions, for example, diffusion, dissolution, etc. And to ensure that there is uniformity of composition between the mixed ingredients, mixing is a tool which is used. And ultimately on mixing, it can have a uniform composition that can eliminate any differences from unit to unit in terms of dosage forms. What are the applications of mixing? Mixing is an intermediate stage in the preparation of several dosage forms. Wet mixing in granulation step in production of tablets and capsules. Dry mixing in several ingredients ready for direct compression of tablets. These are some major examples or applications of mixing. Dry blending of powders in capsules, dry syrups, and compound powders such as insufflations is also another example. Production of pellets for capsules also incorporate the process of mixing. What are the types of mixing? Mixing of solids, mixing of liquids, mixing of immiscible liquids, mixing of semi-solids. These are four major types of mixing we adopt in the pharmaceutical industry. What are the factors that can influence solid mixing? This is an important thing to consider during the learning of mixing process. There are several factors as follows. Nature of the surface, density of the particles, particle size, particle shape, particle charge, proportion of materials, particle attraction, etc. are various factors that affect the type or extent of mixing. Nature of surface. Rough surface of one of the components does not include satisfactory mixing. A rough surface can often uh, disrupt the mixing process. This is due to the entry of active substance into the pores of 
the other ingredients. So adding a substance which can absorb on its surface can decrease the aggregation. For example, addition of aerosol to zinc oxide. By adding or by doing so, a strongly aggregating zinc oxide becomes a fine dusting powder which can be mixed easily. Density of the particles. Density is of minor importance. Demixing is accelerated when the density of the smaller particles is higher or when the mixing process stopped abruptly. This is due to the fact that the dense materials always move downwards and settle at the bottom. Particle size. It is easy to mix two powders having approximately the same particle size. The variation of particle size can lead to separation because of the small particles move downward through the spaces between bigger particles. As the particle size increases, low properties also increase due to the influence of gravitational force on the size. Particle shape. The ideal particle shape is spherical in shape for purpose of uniform mixing. The irregular shapes can become interlocked and there are less chances of separation of particles once these are mixed together. Particle charge. Some particles exert attractive forces due to electrostatic charges on them. This can lead to separation or segregation. Proportion of materials. The best results can be obtained if two powders are mixed in equal proportion by weight and by volume. If there is a large difference in the proportion of two powders, mixing is always done in ascending order of their weights. Particle attraction. Some particles exert attractive forces. This may be due to absorbed liquid films or electrostatic charges, such as particles tending to aggregate. Since these are surface properties, the effect increases as the particle size decreases. 